Okay, so we're gonna practice holding babies. Feel free to name your baby and become familiar with your baby. Give your baby a hug. Summer school for most was never like this. This is the size of a one month old baby. So really fragile, right? And really new little baby. We wanna make sure we're always supporting the head and neck. Can everyone do that for me? For one thing, knowledge gained here lasts a lifetime. Also, your face is their favorite toy, so they look at you and you can make funny faces at them. Toys and fun are just a part of the valuable lessons learned. We want to make sure we never, ever shake a baby if they're crying, right? So what are some reasons that babies cry? They're tired. Tired? They need their diaper change. Yep. Yeah. They're uncomfortable. Yeah, so a lot of reasons, right? Babies cry to communicate pretty much. Anything they need to communicate, they will cry. Welcome to the Seattle Children's Better Babysitters class, given regularly for girls and boys between the ages of 11 and 14. It's a comprehensive six-hour course covering... Everything about babysitting, from being responsible, uh, what rate you should charge, to child development, and what ages and stages kids are at, um, and what kind of activities are appropriate for those ages. What are some other things we can do to get babies to stop crying, Reese? You can talk to them, or like... Carly Walsh, who wears many hats at Seattle Children's, is also a babysitter specialist. For more than 20 years on any given weekend, over 40 kids are given the tools they need to become better babysitters. It's a lot of responsibility for parents to leave their most precious people at home. And if we can equip them with being prepared and show that trust to the family. Each student is given a textbook, which helps the babysitters understand the challenges associated with watching young children. They're unpredictable, and if you can remove barriers to injury, leaving cords on the ground, or picking up small toys, marbles, Legos, a child, a small child can easily choke on that. Classes cover a range of hands-on training, including one of the most anticipated activities of the day. So we're gonna practice changing diapers now. This goes in the back part, okay? So when you put them into this diaper, you want this to come around the back, and this to come in the front. Why do you think there's so much more room in the back? For the poop, that's right. Well, I'm kind of just immune to disgust, so um, it, it doesn't so disgust me. I, I was a baby too, so. There are plenty of smiles and giggles in class, but it's balanced with the sobering reality of caring for the most precious member of any family. And sometimes that requires a special strategy in keeping peace when not everyone is a little angel. Like, what is that? And if you're like hid and you're like, and then they, they ran after, like, where is that coming from? But the thing about that is you distract them with something else, and then all of a sudden they completely forgot about the fight they were having, and now they're having fun. Knowledge is empowerment, and with the certificates handed out at the end of class, these babysitters are ready to give moms and dads a well-deserved night out. Emergency medical training is not included with this class, although they do teach students about safety and injury prevention. It's a $45 investment for the class, but it could equal big returns from grateful parents. For HealthLink, I'm Amatia Drisi.